Praise the Lord on my oof, first break. Got here about, arrived here about 10 minutes to 6 a.m. And this won't take long. I pray that I dress it properly and I don't sound like I'm whining or one-sided or, you know, I just don't want to push out the wrong words or give out the wrong energy. It says, do unto others as you will have them do unto you. I think that's how it goes. People refer to it as the golden rule. And people say, treat people the way you would like to be treated. No, you treat people the way they would like to be treated. If I say, don't call me that, don't call me that. If I ask you not to do something, you should try as hard as you possibly can not to do it. Just if you ask me not to do something, I should give it 102%. <laughs> I remember I was drinking um, some 2% milk. I was working in North Chicago, uh, Falls Park, a few summers ago. And this young little, little lad, young boy, about 9, 10 years old, get his name, um, and Tracy, he saw me drink some 2% milk. He goes, you 100% man. I said, I hope so. You drinking 2% milk? I said, yes, I am. He said, does that make you 102% man? I laughed so hard and walked over to the vending machine and let him pick whatever he wanted to pick. That that really that touched me. I'm 102% man. But the case in point I'm making is that if someone says to you, you're yelling and screaming at me too much, work on it. And in the same breath, we need to ask ourselves, why is the person yelling and screaming? It doesn't mean they're right or righteous. But lots of times... People cause problems, then play victim. Or people will make you angry and then uh, catch feelings. Or people will cause fisticuffs and then feel like they didn't have anything to do with it. You know, throw a rock, hide your hand. But I heard the wonder break and I saw your hand drop to your side. And you got dirt on your hand. So do unto others as you will have them do unto you. I can take it. A lot of things I can't take. A lot of things I can. You know, I, I don't like being cursed. I don't like being purposely ignored or, or or someone using their ability to ignore me. You should ignore me when I'm wrong. But don't use ignoring someone, you know, uh, to hurt them. Why would you use your phone to hurt your wife? Why would you use your phone to hurt your husband? Why would you use your phone to hurt your girlfriend or boyfriend or fiance or significant other as I leave this be? And a lot of y'all do that. All you have is cussing power. All you have is fussing power. All you have is deflecting power. All you have is denial power. All you have is your ability to hang up on someone. All you have is your ability to hang up someone and not answer your phone. As I leave this alone. And you can do what you want to do with your phone, but it's not becoming. It's not manly. It's not womanly. And it's not memorable to do that. You treat others the way they ask you to treat them. You know, it's a shame you don't have to ask for mistreatment. You get it for free. So just praying that this touches someone's heart. You treat people the way they want to be treated. You work on it. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I try not to let it happen again. But when you know you're wrong, you see, I, most of us were taught right from wrong at a very, very, very young age. If you point out something I've done wrong, either I missed it or I'm in denial and not the river in Egypt as I leave this be. Do unto others as you will have them do unto you. We have to treat people the way they want to be treated. I can take a lot of abuse, and I don't want to, but I can because of how I grew up and what I've been through in life. I can take a lot of uh, fisticuffs. I don't like to, but I have to take it. I have to take it. But to constantly dish out uh, mistreatment, verbal abuse, uh, using your phone as a weapon, uh, uh, giving people the silent treatment. You know, you know what get me about the silent treatment? It's the person you should give the silent treatment to. You never have. And the one you shouldn't give the silent treatment to, you do all the time as I leave this alone. My dad and my mama used to have a saying, you are majoring in minor and you're minoring in major. We have to flip that around. Be careful how you treat people. Be careful how you mistreat people. The Bible says that when those of us who entertain angels unawares, God will send someone to you to see how you treat them or mistreat them. You may not never see him again. God may call someone to keep coming to you, coming to you, coming to you, forgiving you, forgiving you, forgiving you. And you're wiping your foot on their mind and you're wiping your feet on their heart. Treat people the way they want to be treated. Practice makes perfect or practice makes you mature. Another word for perfection is maturation. 
It's a shame to give the devil's children all your attention, all your love, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, all your uh, uh, situational awareness. They give them all your life, all your kindness, and they mistreat you. And then here come one of God's children. You know, you want to know how to treat them because you gave all your loving kindness, all your loving spoonful of kindness to the devil's children versus God's children. Do unto others as you will have them do unto you. It's not just a golden rule, it's a life rule. We can't always treat people the same way, but we can treat people right. Stop making excuses for your bad behavior and stop making excuses for someone else's behavior. Do unto others as you will have them do unto you. Let me get back to work. Peace. One.